Hello, my name is Jason Pritchett, and I'm a laser technician located in our Duluth, Georgia office right outside of Atlanta. Uh, we have here today an H20 hybrid laser with an LW1 enclosure and a scanner to create a mini traceability solution right here on our benchtop. This is one of my favorite lasers to begin exploring new materials because of its wide capability range. I would like to demonstrate firsthand how a couple of our new laser features really pump up your marking capabilities. First, we will create and mark a data matrix code on a piece of anodized aluminum. We will take that mark and verify it using a handheld scanner. Second, we will run some additional marking jobs and demonstrate the autofocus feature with plastic and the 3D module by marking two locations on a metal part. Let's begin with the data matrix code. We will move over to our laser trace software for this. We we'll begin by selecting a data matrix block. There's a shortcut icon on the left hand toolbar but there is also a pull down menu under block and you can select 2D barcode and we're going to select standard data matrix. There are options for very specific UID format of matrix or you can encode anything you wish from a part number and description or a website address just select and then click and drag to create the code. We'll size it specifically later. In this case, I'm going to type a manufacturing date and a serial number. And when I hit enter, the code changes. The number of rows and columns is uh, set automatically, so it uses the fewest number of, of rows that uh, will hold the information. The number of rows and columns of dots in the code are set to auto, so it makes the least complex code it can with the amount of data that I've typed in. Um, it looks like we have a 14 by 14 code, but we could use the pull down menu to select any number of rows and columns that we wanted. So we could increase the complexity and we can also select a rectangular code. Uh, rectangular code are great for very small spaces or a code that goes down the axis of a cylindrical part. Now I'm going to set the exact height and I'm choosing 10 millimeters for this one. The last step that is important varies with the material we're lasering on, the density. Usually 30 is good for most metals. Um, lower density, like 15 or 20, is good for plastics. And this was already set at 30. Once all settings are in place, we can begin marking. For safety, the laser does not begin marking automatically once the job is sent to the machine, nor will it fire unless the door is properly closed. I'll use the aiming diode to align the part so that it will mark in the exact right spot. And when I close the door, the start marking button is illuminated in green. And I'll press it to mark. Here you can see our data matrix code marked in high resolution with a nice contrasting color. We removed the anodizing to reveal the silver color of the aluminum underneath. Let's now take our hand scanner and validate the mark. Here in our scanning software, you can see the validation, and it gives you a pass-fail grade, and it also at the bottom has a readout giving you the exact data that has been encoded so that you can visually verify it. The process can be completely automated and integrated directly into your production line, if that doesn't work for your facility, a simple standalone marking and traceability solution could be just what you need. Let's move on to our next application and explore the autofocus and 3D models. First, we'll take a plastic piece and set it in a machine. The 3D lens and the laser will automatically adjust to the proper focal distance to apply a high resolution mark. 
We just need to center the first marking area under the autofocus center. Since our job has already been created with settings for plastic, we just need to send it over and then we can hit the button to fire the laser. You can really see the speed in which the laser applies the mark. The autofocus really helps in a situation where different size or shaped parts are being marked with the same laser. Our next example is an awkward metal part which needs a mark applied here and here. We do need to lower our laser table to accommodate for the holding tube. in the 30 range. The 3D lens will also be programmed in the job when the height difference is on our part and will adjust for each marking area. So we just need to press the button to send the job over to the computer. Sorry, to the laser. <laughs> laser machines would require the part to be repositioned, which involve an employee moving the part or a custom designed and automated maneuver to reposition the part. This would cost time and therefore money in your whole process. Gravitech is proud to show these latest innovations to help manufacturers really pump up their marking capabilities. If you have a part to be marked, be sure to send it into our office here in Duluth, Georgia, and I can personally examine, mark, and propose a marking solution to best suit your needs. Thanks for stopping by my laser lab.